So here's a poem that I never read before, and I thought, well, I'm going to be in a room with many Jews present, and some people might relate. It's called 1955 to 2001, A Hair Odyssey. Mm. One, the day I gave birth to you, you had such beautiful dark curly hair, the nurses all took turns combing it. You left the hospital with a ponytail tied up in a pink ribbon, and I was so happy you were a girl, I cried. Two, I cry every morning before high school because of my hair, my hair. Briz bomb, kinky head, Jufro, the human barometer. Every night I set it on rollers the size of orange juice cans, wrap it around my head with larger than life bobby pins, scotch tape it to my forehead and cheeks, flatten it out along my mother's ironing board, only to have it boing back to its curly, frizzy, kinky Jewish self every goddamn morning. Three. On a kibbutz in Israel, I live in a room with six other American girls, all of us fascinated by Mona. Mona has straight hair. How does she do it? We watch, mesmerized, as she divides her waist-length tresses into dozens of sections, one inch thick, and runs the blow dryer up and down each one every morning starting at 4 a.m. in order to be ready for breakfast at 6. Two hours, is it worth it? You betcha. The next morning we are all up at four, fighting over the one outlet in the room, having flown halfway around the world just to learn how to straighten our hair. Four, the first thing I do when I realize I am a lesbian is hack off my hair. The second thing I do is cry. Five, is that a perm? Yes, how long have you had it? 45 years. Six, out of nowhere, a gray hair, then another and another. I can't believe it. The words I spat at my mother as an arrogant teen come back to me. Women shouldn't dye their hair, it's so unnatural. How did she put up with me? Sitting at the hairdressers under a stark white light before an unforgiving mirror, a lavender smock draped about my neck, my hair plastered back from my face with cold, wet goo. I look like my mother, vulnerable, exposed, ashamed. Seven, finally, we are friends, my hair and I. My dyed, dark brown, chin-length hair, framing my face in soft curls, sometimes held back with a hairband or clip, sometimes frizzy in the heat, sometimes flat in the cold, always growing, always changing, unruly, unmanageable, unpredictable as me. Mm -hmm.